Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton. So we've got a Mercedes-Benz C-Class. This is a 2-litre C220D AMG line, finished in obsidian black metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 18-inch AMG alloys. They're an aero twin spoke design. At the back, you get a decent sized boot. Good amount of space in there. Uh, there's a 455 litre boot. Uh, this car does have MOT until the end of July 2025. And it's got a full service history. Inside we have the AMG Sports seats in leather, nice comfortable seats, big bolts on the side of the base to keep you in place, you've also got another thigh support if you need it, um, nice sporty feeling to the seats and the leather is nice quality. Up front we have a full digital driver's display, you've got your speed on the left, rev counter on the right um, and various different information you can have in the middle, fuel range, um, digital speedo that sort of stuff and then you've also got your assistance assistance systems uh, your nav your radio media telephone all that sort of stuff on there me personally I like having the digital speedo on there uh, you can also change the uh, design of the dials as well so this is in classic you've also got sport and pro progressive as well um, so whichever you fancy you can have on there on the main screen, um, we've got your main controls for it just down here. You've got a little swivel wheel. Um, you've got a home button just there. We have the built-in nav, nice and easy to use, nice and up-to-date, nice and clear as well. Uh, you've got DAB radio. You've also got Bluetooth connectivity for phone and music. Uh, you've also got all your vehicle details on here. Uh, your dynamic select for your drive modes, so you can configure the individual mode to suit what your personal preference is. I've just got it set up like this. Um, so you can have the engine in various different states of um, uh, tuning, I guess, but not tuning. Um, and then you've got your steering and your stability program as well. Uh, you'd also have various info about the assistance, consumption, all that good stuff on there. Uh, moving down, we've got uh, climate control. So it's nicely laid out. I do like how Mercedes have their climates down here. Um, so it's nice and easy to use. You've got your climate menu. Uh, then you've got the temperature for the driver side, passenger side, directional controls, fan speed. Uh, you can have it on auto as well, that sort of stuff. Um, so you can have it however you want, really. Uh, you'd also have a heated rear screen and aircon. Uh, you've got shortcuts for the nav, radio, media, telephone, and the car settings on here as well. The nice analog clock in the middle. A couple of cup holders. And then, as I mentioned, the main swivel wheel to control everything. Uh, the home button, you've got your volume and the parking sensor uh, stuff on here as well so you've got um, your parking sensor settings you've also got a rear camera and front and rear sensors as well and then if you use the scroller on here you can change through the drive modes as well um, quite nice and quickly nice and easy to do and then you've got your engine start stop on there as well and then you've got a couple of USBs just in the center console here that is uh, lined as well so if you've got stuff in there don't rattle around too much you also have uh, locking mirror and the manual in the glove box. Uh, heated front seats as well, look here to adjust on the doors. Uh, you'd also have electric adjustment for the uh, backrests and things as well on the front seats. Uh, the actual uh, moving forwards and backwards is manual. Uh, use the little lever just down here, just there. Um, but the backrest and stuff is electric. Up front we have nice laid out steering wheel. So on the left hand cluster you've got the home button and controls for the main screen so you don't have to use the swivel wheel in the middle uh, you've also got your volume and hands-free controls and on the right you've got the controls for the driver's display cruise control and speed limiter controls on there as well you have paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel you've got your gear selector on the right hand side of the steering column with it being a mercedes uh, on the left you've got your indicator and your uh, wiper stalk you do have auto wipers auto lights push button start just there and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors as well they are also electric folding um, you can do that manually pressing the button or when you lock it as well 
just head to the back of the car. Nice leather in the rear as well. You've got ice-fix anchor points on the outer seats. And a fold-down central armrest. Some storage under there. A couple of cup holders located just in the front of it as well. You also have storage pockets behind the front seats and decent door bins in the rear as well. Uh, with it being a Mercedes C-Class, it is rather nice to drive. Uh, the engine's nice and punchy, gearbox nice and smooth. Um, it will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £299 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something that you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the other cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Cheers!